So, uh, Mark Colombo, uh, how's it going with you? It's going good, man. Just uh, playing some music, lifting some weights. Now, now this band, you know, you got a new single out, One Step Away. Talk to me about this a little bit. Yeah, that's um, that's a song sort of about feeling like close to success, but you know, kind of being one step away from having it. Or something keeps you away from, you know, reaching your potential. Um, I think it's a good song. I think it resonates with a lot of people, and you know, that's our first, we chose that as the first single because it's kind of a little bit of a departure of the heavier stuff that we do, just to kind of show people the diversity in our band. But you know, we got a new album coming out April nineteenth called Heavier Than Metal, and it's 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 pretty heavy. Where does the the album title come from? The album title comes from we were just joking around one day, and we literally said we're the heaviest band in the world. Um, I'm six eight three thirty. Our bassist is bigger than I am. Our drummer is huge, so it kind of it kind of spawned from that. Plus, our guitar tunings are pretty pretty damn heavy, so it's kind of got like a dual meaning to it. You're heavier than the you know everything in this genre like that. If you if you put it like that. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Some of the influences you guys uh, looked into making this album is it like all the influences you collected throughout the years? Let's say. Yeah, I, I grew up. Uh, I grew up a huge like '80s thrash metal band. Um, our, our guitarist Justin Chapman was more into like Corn, the new metal stuff, and you know you can kind of hear both influences, and it kind of makes for a good mixture, which is free reign. Um, it's that, that's pretty much my influences were you know Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, Megadeth. You know a lot of those '80s '80s bands, most of the earliest stuff that all of those bands have done. And, um, yeah, that's what I, James Hetfield's my idol. I mean, I've, I've been to about 20 Metallica shows, so if I could play and sing like him or, or get close to that, I'd be doing all right. Now, I'm sure you met James Hetfield also? I, I've met him one time, and it wasn't, it, it wasn't set up. I actually saw him in Las Vegas, and I, and I kind of walked by and turned around, and I, I turned like white as a ghost, so he's, He's just unbelievable, and I asked if he had a bouncer next to him, and I asked, you know, hey, can I meet him? And I was actually going to see a show that night at, uh, I think it was UNLV, and he was really cool. Did they realize uh, that you're a, you know, football player with Dallas Cowboys and all that? No, no, not at all. It was the exact opposite. It, it, it feels good sometimes to, you know, be starstruck, you know. It was, uh, it was a pretty cool experience. Now, with, with the football, you know, industry... Would you say yep. that this is attracting that crowd also going to the metal and going to your products? Um, yeah, I I think so. I mean, yeah, we 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 have a lot of football fans. At least when we first started out, you know, we're trying to make the switch over from, you know, not just football fans that like metal. I mean, we're kind of we kind of want to, you know, obviously nationally and you know, worldly be recognized as, as a heavy metal band over, you know, being football players. So it's kind of been a slow process, and it's starting to pick up now, I think, with our first full-length album. Um, people are starting to really take us seriously. Now, do, do you uh, foresee a, a future tour with this, Free Reign? I d d yeah, I, I do. I mean, um, me and the bassist, Leonard Davis, were both 10-year veterans in, in the NFL, and you know, this uh, football is not going to last forever. You know, it's a tough sport. You know, we may have a few more seasons left, but, you know, it's something, touring is something we've had trouble with because of the, the demand that football has. And, you know, at some point we're going to be able to get that out there on tour and, you know, and get our music to the people. And, you know, and right now we just kind of, you know, handpick a few shows. We have our CD release party coming up. We have a show in Texas here coming up uh, April 16th. And, you know, we're just kind of doing a few select shows uh, in, in different cities and to support this album. There's three NFLers in this product. Right. Yep. Yeah, we got uh, Leonard Davis, who I played next to um, for five seasons now. Um, he's in the band, and uh, a drummer I played with for four seasons, and he was he's now with the Miami, Miami Dolphins, and... Yes, yeah, so we got two Dallas Cowboys, one Miami Dolphin, and then we have a guitar shredder who was born to, born to play guitar. Complete opposite. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he he's uh, he's he came into the band. I mean, he was he was the professional musician, <laughs> so he kind of he kind of taught us a few things.
how was the experience of recording this album? It was it was it was great. You know, we we go in right before you know basically the the football season starts. So before we head into training camp, we go in and knock out you know all the songs you know which is to be our new album. And you know we got a really good producer. His name is Alex Gerst. He seems to get the best out of us. And you know it, it went relatively smooth this time. We knew what we wanted to do, and the songs came out really really good. We're excited for everyone to hear them. One thing too, also, Mark, is like uh, for your career as football, you've been into metal all these years. How's your collection yep. doing? <laughs> I got a a long his collection. I got every Metallica song ever made live. I mean, you name it. Um, yeah, I got a, I got a I got a huge CD collection, which doesn't really mean any more now. Now it's all in my iTunes library, but it took me a long time to upload all those <laughs> heavy metal albums to my iTunes library. Now, do you have uh, actual vinyl also, or is it just mostly CDs? I don't, no. It's mostly CDs. You know, I mean, when I was younger, there were, it was cassette tapes. I don't know what happened to those, but um, no, I haven't I haven't started a vinyl collection like that. I, th I do think it's pretty cool, and I do think it's coming back around. But, um, yeah, I might have to look into that, because I know some of, especially some of the metal bands these days are, are, are releasing their old albums in vinyl, which is really cool. Certainly, as being a Metallica fan, considering there's some good rarities on vinyl by Metallica. Exactly, exactly. I think that's uh, yeah, a really good collectibles, and yeah, you might you might have just turned me on to something. Well, look at that. You're gonna have a big summer. You know, you're uh, working hard, always in the gym. Yep. You know, um, training. You name it, touring yep. with you know uh, Dallas Cowboys. Yep. Yeah, it's it's busy. Yeah, the summer. The summer will be busy, um, you know. So basically, I'll go work out. You know, we got we got a, a band practice coming up this Saturday, so we. we but the, the band practices and shows are usually on the weekends. During the week, we do our football work, so you know it doesn't really interfere too much. And you know, it, it's just exciting that we're able to find the time to do both because both are extremely time demanding. You would probably live good as a touring musician, considering you know NFL does tours. Like, I mean, how's the yeah. travel schedules? It is, yeah. Um, the travel schedules, uh, the schedules are probably you know very similar. I mean, we, uh, I, I believe the the music they they definitely hit more cities and more shows, and you know it's it's sort of on to the next. But you know, with the football season, we're We're going to ten different cities usually a year, and it's uh, it, it, it's very similar. I think it would it would make for an easier transition than you know, just not having done it before. Well, that's great. You have a great track, and uh, looking forward to seeing this album being released. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm excited for you guys to hear Heavier Than Metal. I think uh, from, from start to finish, it, it, it's a great album, and it's. And you'll, you'll appreciate all the work that was put into it. Excellent. So now Mark Colombo is going to be on musiclegends.ca. So you're a legend of music. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You have a great uh, evening and uh, you have a great summer. You too. Thank you very much.